we'll just swap. Okay. Sounds good. Let's give a couple more minutes, see if anybody else joins us. Was that right? Why can't I? We had a big group today. Everyone's piling in. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Hey, I think we can get some today. You act good. What did you say? Hey guys. Get to the million dollars today. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah hopefully. Hey PK. We got that positive attitude today. We're definitely gonna get there. <laughs> right. Yep. Looks like Ray's stuck in the waiting room. <laughs> I was wondering, is he not able to join? Oh, yeah, just says joining. I'll give a minute more. Hope you guys got your thinking caps on. All right, let's get started, I guess, and we'll let everyone else pile in then. All right, so our question is, when looking at a map, in what direction is always north? What do we think, A, left? I think B. We think B, right? Yep. C, down or D, up? D. E. Mm -hmm. Uh, what just happened? Yeah, I just can you see me? Oh, yeah, good now. Yep, I, I did the update on my computer and I guess it's messing with it. Also, I just started doing my first conqueror challenge, I haven't quite finished it. I'm working on the London challenge. That's awesome, Noah. That's great, Noah. All right, all right. It looks like everyone's thinking D. Let's see. Yeah, we're right. All right, let's see. We got a hundred dollars there. And and I know it's D because north, north, up. Points up. Awesome. All right, let's see. In the nursery rhyme, who went up the hill to fetch a pail of water? A Little boy blue, B Jack and Jill, C Little Red Riding Hood, D Old Mother Hubbard. What do we think? B. Uh, my poll. Uh, this went down. Your poll went down. Yeah. You guys can always use the chat, too, if you're having difficulties with the poll. All right. So it looks like everyone's saying B, Jack and Jill. Let's see. I'll go B. I'll go yes, B. know it. <laughs> mm. We're doing good so far. Let's see. What kind of flower is an American beauty? Jeez. We got this last week. So let's see. Is it A, rose, B, tulip, C, daisy, D, petunia? Chat A. Mm. Oh. 
Exactamente. Right, Alex. Like everyone's saying, A, a rose. Mm. Okay, because I just figured it out. I just figured my issue out. Um, I just want okay. to uh, write it with A. Awesome. Okay. Perfect. All right. Our next question is what two colors are Garfield's stripes? Are they A, black and yellow, B, black and white, C, black and orange, D, orange and brown? Did anyone watch this show before? Yep, I did. And Steven did. Awesome. Let's see. It was orange and brown. Oh, hey, right. Orange and brown. Okay. So D. Mm -hmm. Oh, it looks like we got a bit of a mix up here. Definitely had orange one. Definitely. Okay. I haven't seen the movie Garfield in like quite a long time. You cried? But I believe but I believe it was D. D, okay. So yeah. Ray, PK think it's D as well. So it kind of looks like you guys are between C and D. Mm. They're all tied up and you want to use a lifeline. B you can I do that. I know orange was definitely one of the colors. Yeah. Do you guys want to use a lifeline or what do we want to do? Mm. Are we going for a lifeline? I think since we're tied up, we'll use a lifeline. Which one do you guys want to use? 50-50 phone call or the audience? The 50-50 might get us down to one of the oranges or it mm. also might get down to both, but we still won't know. <laughs> oh, exactly. So in this situation, uh, the 50-50s eh, probably, you yeah, know, a better option. <laughs> you guys want to do 50-50 then? All right. All right. Okay. Sure. It's between B and C. You guys had said C. Yes, yeah, C. Definitely. Black. Okay. Black and orange. Let's see. Yep, we got that right. Yes, no way. We almost lost our money there. We got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did. Mm. All right. Our next question is what TV program features Buck Owens and Roy? Oh, is it A, Carol Burnett, B, Benny Hill, God. C, Hee Haw, D, Nashville Now? I think this is before all of our times. <laughs> exactly. Somebody... Some touch, catch them. Do we want to guess or do we want to use another life? Um, I can't read all of the question or read all the answers. This is my poll. Okay, P. It's the question is what TV program features Buck Owens and Roy Clark? And then we have option A is Carol Burnett, B Benny Hill, C Hee Haw, D Nashville Now. So those are the options. Um. Uh... What do we think? It looks like we're tied up again. I have no idea, so I'm not going to even guess. <laughs> well, that means we should use a lifeline then. If you have no idea and our other answers are tied. Do we want to phone a friend or use the audience? Which option do you guys want to use? Um, uh, I would say find a friend. Want to find a friend? Mm. Um, 
this for this question, I wasn't so sure, but I but I do think Carol Burnett had to be their best friends. Had to be one of their best friends. So that's why I chose that. Okay, it's asking what TV program features them. Yeah, what show are they on? Or it could be wrong. Do, do we want to use that phone a friend option then? See if our friend is a fan of uh, this television program. <laughs> All right, let's take a look. Our friend says they think it it's B. We ask how sure they are, and they're about 70% sure. So B is Benny Hill. What do we okay. do? Okay. Uh, to... Well, of course <laughs> you want to press hang up. Okay. So it's B and they're 70% sure. We want to give that a try? Yep. Okay, let's see. Oh, we got it. Oh, our friend, our friend was wrong. Oh, wrong. What? What the heck? I've never heard of hee haw. Yeah, me neither. I was yeah. right. I just looked it up. I'm sorry. I probably shouldn't have done that, but. I mean, it's not really a game if we look up the answers, right? Sorry. All right. Mm. Well, back to the beginning, guys. All right. So our question is, what is used to tell time? Letter A is fan, B is television, C is oven, D a clock. What do we think? What's used to tell time? Uh, you'll see my answer in my poll. Okay. It shows D, clock, is time, clock, tells time. All right, so it looks like mostly everyone's thinking it's D. Let's see. Yeah, a clock. Excellent. The funny thing is, probably just about everything has a clock on it these days, too. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. All right. So our next question is, uh, what month and day does Christmas fall on? A, July 4th. Maybe. B, mm. December 25th. <laughs> D, March 17th, D, May 13th. Getting into that Christmas season already. <laughs> yeah, wow. I already, I don't know if you saw my poll. I chose B. Awesome. It looks like everyone did too. Let's see. Mm. Yep, December 25th. All right. Let's hey, John, see. Whoa. Hi, Jonathan. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, guys. Hey, everyone. All right. Our next question is in the nursery rhyme, as I was going to St. Ives, the narrator met a man with several what? What a, the heck? Ives, B, knives, C, lives, D, wives. It all rhymes. I do not know this nursery rhyme either, Stephen. Yeah, neither. <laughs> hey, me neither. That's why oh, like, what the heck? Well, what <laughs> do we need? Uh, we've always we've got all of our lifelines back, so that is definitely an option. What do we think? And if someone out there knows the nursery rhyme, let us know. Do is that you? Uh, I say I don't. Don't know this one. It looks like we're between D and using a lifeline. So let's go with using a lifeline. Do we want to do 50 50, phone a friend, or call the off? Mm. If you see my poll, I went C. Hi. The reason why is because uh, in the question it says a man with several what? A man with several lives. I mean, with several. Okay. PK, you know the rhyme? I do. Jonathan, you know the rhyme? Yes. 
Do you do we know the answer then? Uh no. So we've got a couple different answers there. It sounds like Jonathan said B, PK just said C, and our votes go to D. Wives. Oh no, you're saying D. Okay. Why? Okay. <laughs> well, it looks like we do have several different answers. Do we want to use a lifeline then? I'm going to see. You want to see? Okay. Mm. I'll cry. Through and through. Okay. So it sounds like we're getting different responses. So let's use a lifeline. Do we want to do 50 50 phone a friend or use the audio? Um, hmm. Um, hmm. I would say phone a friend. We want to phone a friend. Does everyone agree? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what they say. They say it's the wives. How sure are you? The friend says a hundred four. <laughs> oh wow. Saying, he knew that. Wow. He knew it too, and he was also saying why. Yep. Do we want to, do we want to go? Come on. I don't forget it's something. something. All right. We agree it's C. So I'm still doing C. Okay, PK spell with C live. Our friend said D. Why? What do we think? Do we want to go with our friend's answer? Or do we want to do a different one? What's the answer? What do we think? Hi. Jonathan, you can have our friends respond. Yes. <laughs> we'll clear yeah. that. Steven, you too. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, yep. Especially yeah. since our friend was 100% sure. Hey, right? come on. Let's trust our friend. They know. Yeah, exactly. Friend. This friend. The other friend didn't. So this is a different friend. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, well, hopefully. Thank you. And we're back. So it sounds like the majority of you want to agree with their friend. I'm just going to mute you, Jonathan, because we're getting a big echo when you talk. You, If you want to use the chat, you can, or if you want to mute and unmute. But while it's still going, it's a little hard to hear. All right, so let's see if our friend was right. Yeah, they were. We yes, could try knew it. Hi. Awesome. Let's see. All right, our next question yeah, is both. what color is the planet Mars said to be? A, B, <laughs> red, C, white, D, blue. <laughs> red. What do we think? What color is it? Uh, uh, my poll didn't oh, Sorry about there. That. What color do we think? Hmm. It looks like a lot of you are saying B red. Mm, yeah. And um, there's an I know I remember a clue. And remember. I remember something uh that actually coincides with this. Uh, have you ever heard of the singer Bruno Mars? Yeah, Bruno Mars. Bruno Mars has red. Yep. Okay, but it looks like you all agree on the letter B, Brad. Let's see. Yep, we got that one right. <laughs> know it. Mm. Good job. Mm. All right. What's the sunflower state? A, yes. yeah. B, 
Kansas, C, Mississippi, or D, Texas? What do we think? I know, I know. B. Hey, it looks like a lot of you would be with B Kansas. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I chose B Kansas because I know the Kansas the Chiefs in football are from Kansas. Oh, okay. Let's see. Yep, all right. The Sunflower State is Kansas. I didn't know that. I learned something new. Mm -hmm. <laughs> me, me too. Didn't know that either. Pause. All right, our next question is what fabric is made from the flax plant? A, linen, B, silk, C, wool, D, rayon. I don't know this plant. Yeah, me neither. I can narrow it down by saying what it's not. Okay. Because okay. wool comes from an animal, silk comes from a silkworm, rayon, I think, comes from another animal, I think. But I think it's linen, based on that. Maybe that's a good thought for process. Yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. We think it's I, rayon. I don't know if you guys are looking at, the, at my poll. I said D, rayon, okay. because I'm crushing it. Wool comes from sheep, linen comes from cotton, um, silk comes from worms. It has to be right. I like all of this thought process going on. You guys are doing eliminations. I want D because I'm actually crushing it. So in the poll, it looks like A is winning, but I'm hearing a couple of different answers. It sounds like it's between A and D. I believe it. I think it's A. A. So it sounds like you guys are between A and B. Do we want to use a lifeline or do you guys want to agree on an answer together? Yeah. Yeah. We're getting a lot of echo from hot shots. Jonathan thinks it's C. Okay. Oh, now we're getting even more different answers. Um, so do we want to use a lifeline instead? It sounds like we're not sure. No way. Now we don't want to use a lifeline. I'll put it in our answer. We don't need a lifeline. Nope. You're sure of your answer? Okay. Um, yes. Yeah. You guys are, are giving a lot of different answers. We got A in the poll. Your couple of you are saying it could be D. We got a B in the chat also. You guys want to agree on a so do we agree right we say a maybe we can do the poll again it sounds like people are you, you, linen it says 100 percent cotton Okay, now that we've had the chance to eliminate a couple of answers, we put the poll back up. What do you guys think it can be? It's between Lena and take a rocket science to understand it. Oh, you could choose to use a lifeline. I'm going to do it. Much. 
Okay, so in the poll, letter A, Lenin, is the most chosen, it seems like. Yeah, I'm I think looking to D. you guys have made a very good He's point on on this one with the because... silk being like the silkworms and the wool being like the sheep. Uh -huh. Rayon, I think, is usually synthetic. Going right with linen. Let's try. Yeah, we got that one right. That was great how you all worked together. That's awesome. Thanks. All right. Let's see. Our next question is what's a triple toe wally? B eating jump. C football play. A D, a D. <laughs> and it's hard, yo. So if you oh, do any of these activities. If you think back to those terms, what are five shots? Oh, Triple toe wally. I haven't heard that before. Oh, hey, I'm of Bianca. Recording. Speaker. Touch stuff. We're trying to focus. Yeah, speak right there. It works. Looks like in the chat we're saying letter B, a skating jump. Yeah. All right. That's right. So I guess we have a couple of skaters in the group. Something nice. Yes. Yes. Awesome. Uh, I'm not a scale. I just guessed. For me, yes. that question was not for me. No. All right, let's see. Where I eat. I watch that. wrestling and I watch football. Okay. So that so those were the only two that stuck out for me. All right. Our next question is where on the body is the skin the thinnest? A eyelids, B fingers, C chins, D ears. Yeah, I don't know just <laughs> we need those like biology students right now. <laughs> exactly. Which I'm not one of them. Hmm. No, I'm not uh, that category, but I do know the, but I do know if you look at my poll, my answer is A, eyelids. Okay. It looks like the majority is A, eyelids. So let's see. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got that one right. Guys, we're getting close to that one million. Almost halfway there. Yep. Ooh, yeah, never, ooh, yeah, never knew that about eyelids. I said I were learning new facts here. Yeah, All exactly. Right. All right. Our next question is how many Oscars did Alfred Hitchcock win? A zero, B one, B yeah. two, D three. I don't know this person, so me neither. Yeah, well, Hitchcock. Wow. Oh. Very famous director. A lot of like horror thriller, like Psycho, The Birds, um, you know, stuff like that. They're older stuff. But Oscars, I don't know about that. I'm not sure how many is actually won. Let's see if we have any. Yeah, me neither. Right. Mm -hmm. It looks like the majority is going for D3. The reason why I'm going for D3 is, is because I don't watch a whole lot of... I haven't watched horror movies in a long time. I don't watch a whole lot of them. I don't really watch really much of them now anyways. So, but but I do think Alfred Hitchcock is probably the biggest name in, in that area. So that's why I said D3. Okay. But that sounds like the majority of you 
are saying it's D3. I'm, I'm hoping you guys are fans. Let's see. We got it wrong. We, oh, see you guys this is when you don't know. We got those lifelines. We had two of them. Oh, boy. Sheesh. Zero. I'm very surprised at zero, though. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah, me too. Mm. Of course, I didn't know. <laughs> Rear Window, Rebecca. There's a lot of movies that are like really well mm. regarded. All right, let's see. Lifelines. All right. The question is what is used to power an atom mobile? Is it A, milk, B, water, C, gas, D, nuclear reactor? All right. So it looks like most of you think it's C gas. Yes. I said gas. I said C gas because one fact that I know is our car has gas to run. Oh, hi. This is. <laughs> Next question is whose nose grows every time he tells a lie? A, Kermit the Frog, B, Donald Duck, C, Pinocchio, D, Mickey Mouse. But I didn't finish reading the answers and you already have the letter C there. <laughs> All right. I was actually going to put down C. <laughs> oh. Let's see. All right. Our next question is a three- Point seventy five billion settlement has been reached to pay people injured by the diet pill combination known as a lipo cow B Dexmas C Ben Ben I don't know how to say letter C D Sensen God really hard terms. Yeah, this is a yeah, lot exactly. $100 question. I have no idea. This must have been something big when it happened. Oh, I don't know when it happened. Yeah, me neither. If you don't know, yep, use a lifeline. Mm. All right. Do we want to do 50-50, phone a friend, or call in the audience? What do we think? You're probably better off with phoning a friend or phoning or call or pulling the audience if we really have no idea because the 50 50 is not going to really get us down to it. What do you guys exactly? I chose a the vocal, and the reason why I went for that one is because I think that is probably the most common. So mm -hmm. Um, I think most of us don't know, so let's use our lifeline. Do we want to phone a friend or call in the audience? Which one do we say? Uh, I would say phone a friend, and the only reason is uh, last time the friend was 100% sure. Oh, so this time... <laughs> I don't know. I'm afraid. Let's give our, our friend a try. Okay. All right. Our friend is saying they have to say the letter C, and they mm -hmm. are 80%. Oh, hey. Wow. 80%. They're, letter, they're saying the letter C. Are we going to agree with our friend? Mm, yeah. Yeah. All right, let's see. Yep. We can trust our friend. Thanks, friend. <laughs> that was a good friend. Oh. All right. Oh, exactly. Our next question is, what yeah, did the Queen of Hearts bake some tarts? A, spring, B, winter, C, fall, or D, summer? My God. What do we think? I don't know. 
I don't know this one either. I don't know this either. I don't even know if it's supposed to be like an Alice reference or like a different rhyme or what. Oh, yeah, I don't know either. Weird. Huh. Well, it looks like everyone's unsure. Maybe we should use a lifeline. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I we, said C fall. You said C fall. Okay. Yeah, because charts uh, are usually around this table. I said water, so we get... because I used to have a copy of Alice in Wonderland myself. Okay. Um. I said C fall because charts are usually around the kind of weather that we get now. That's oh. kind of both of your thinking. We're just not sure if this is like a reference from Alice in Wonderland, too. So it sounds like we're all on short. Do we want to do 50 50 where we'll still be left with two options, or do we want to call in the audience? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, um, uh, uh, I say, uh, uh, I say the audience. On the audience, is everyone okay with that? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. So it looks like most. Whoa, sixty-one days. Jeez. It's the summer. Are we agreeing with the audience? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we want to agree with them. Yep. Yep. It's in the yes, summer. They were right. Let's see. Our next question is: What are the tiny dots that make up the picture? On a, <laughs> a mixels. <laughs> B mixels. C, pixels, D, pixels. Pixels. What do we think? This should be easy. <laughs> easy. All right, let's see. Pixels. It looks like most of you are saying it's B, pixels. Let's see. Mm. Ah, we got to know it. Believe it or not, but it doesn't have the same answer. Okay. Now. Does camera. Uh, Our next question is which is bigger? A a gigabyte, B a terabyte, C a megabyte, or D a kilobyte. Hmm. Huh. Mm -hmm. I should uh, I should know this. I and said C know. megabyte, and the reason why is because bigger mega is big. So if any of you know about like memory storage for like a computer, I know. Thing, this <laughs> is what for bytes and kilobytes and megabytes and gigabytes and terabytes in that size order yeah. from smallest to large. I think Roy's got it. That sounds like I think I have like fifty terabytes of data at home. <laughs> so That's many a lot. <laughs> right. It sounds like. Mm, it sounds like most of you in the poll are saying it's C, megabyte. Well, I chose megabyte because bigger, mega, mega is big. Okay. Do we, we're going to go with C then? What do you guys think? Are you guessing the people are putting C? Because oh. Ray has some knowledge of the uh how memory works and stuff if it was a guess you might want to like go with someone who might knows or if you think like no i'm pretty sure okay. I'm the answer, then you might want to stick a with kilobyte it. Megabyte. is a thousand bytes a megabyte is a million bytes a gigabyte is uh a billion bytes and a terabyte is uh, a billion bytes 
I'll relaunch just in case if anyone wants to reevaluate. Oh. Oh. What are we thinking now that Ray has shared his knowledge on this with us? Hmm. Huh. Okay. So it seems like we're still going with C megabyte. All right. Well, I think it's C megabyte, but but because it's one man or the other, that's why I said they fine. Okay. All right. So it sounds like most of you are saying megabyte. Let's see. Mm. Votes have spoken. Uh, no. Uh, it's right. Now well, I'm happy yep. I went and said I tried that's not my second. I warned you. <laughs> yep, I know it. Tell <laughs> by telling us but now we know for next all right yeah hot shot said in the chat too oh i'm just all right we gotta start over let's see our first question is what candy melts in your mouth but not in your hands a snickers b m m's mm. c mr good bar or d E Twix. Now I want a chocolate. <laughs> Hello, Bianca. Yeah, me too. <laughs> you know what's funny is they all melt at a certain time. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. so this is a trick question. This first man. one's a bit tough. It looks most of your same B and the next. Let's see. Yep, we got that one right. It's M and M's. Hello, Bianca. Hi, Natalie. All right, our next question is: How many legs does a oh person? Oh my god! Eight zero. B two. C four. D eight. What do we think? If you look at my poll, I said A, zero, because fifth don't, because let's be honest, fifth don't have legs at all. And no, they do not. <laughs> it looks, well said. <laughs> I like that, let's be honest. Okay, it looks like the majority. Some do, some don't, but most don't. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Our next question is, according to the classical Marjorie commercial from the 1970s, it's oh, not oh. nice to fool whom? A, is it A. Fuller, B. Mr. Whipple, C. Mother Nature, D. Your mom. We had this one last week, we uh, if you remember. <laughs> Oh, I feel like it could be a B or C, Hello. but I don't really know. It's Mother Nature. <laughs> I'm going B, Mr. Ripple. Hey. It looks like uh, the majority is C, Mother Nature. Mother Nature is weather, so I heard I that. Yeah. It is Mother Nature. I didn't know that. Okay, so I was wrong. It's okay. Our next question is, what's the name of the card that the dudes have hazard drive? <laughs> Jeez. A, General Custer. B, General Grant. C, General Lee. D, General Patton. What do we think? The Dukes of Hazard Drive. D, General Patton. E, 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 S, C, and J says D, e, General Patton. You guys Patton. know uh, any Civil War history? You'll know they're uh, no. from the South. <laughs> and again, if you haven't seen the show and you don't know, you might want to pick a lifeline. Oh, 
It looks like most of you are saying B. I I don't. I take. do know I watched that movie. Uh, however, I am not particularly sure about the answer, so I'm trusting everybody here and saying D. Okay, looks like mostly everyone said D, so let's take a look. Mm. No, it's, it's General Lee. <laughs> it was General Lee. See? Robert E. Lee. All right. Oh, come on, boys. Let's see. Let's try again. Come on, guys. <laughs> I don't think we've even gotten up to our 32,000 yet. Uh, <laughs> guys. <laughs> All right, let's see. Guys. Yes, PK? I'm going to take a minute. Okay. Mostly, sure. mostly because I I just saw my lighting on my computer just went not, not off, but down. And I just looked at the battery on it, and it's very, and it's low. So I'm going to, so I need a minute. Yeah, okay. Um, our next question is, which does Chef Boy or D have? A beard, B, a mustache, C, a mustache and a beard, or D, no face here. Do we remember what movie this is from? This is like, you know, like the guy on the SpaghettiOs? Yeah. Like the logo. Right. I said C because I... Because I still got to go plug it in. Okay. So it looks like most of you are saying B, the mustache. Let's see. You got it right. Know it. Easy. <laughs> All right. How many winks are said to be in a short nap? A, 50, B, 20. C ten or D forty. Hmm. Uh. Okay. Hi, um from from my answer I said A because okay. I just got back from plugging it in and I and I uh, decided to throw an answer out there. Okay. Um, so it looks like you guys are pretty tied between A, C, and D. Do we want to use a lifeline if we don't know? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Do we want to do 50-50, phone a friend, or call on the audience? 50-50. Uh, yeah, 50-50. Okay, let's see. So it's between A, 50, and D, 40. What do we think? Uh, 50. In the chat, chat Hotshot seems pretty set on D. Yeah, Hotshot saying it's D. Do we agree with them, D, 40? Oh, uh, I only said A because I just got back from plugging my thing in. No, I'm throwing the answer out there. I'll I'll take D. Mm -hmm. Yep. No, I'm changing my answer. <laughs> Sounds like we agree with them that it's D forty. Yeah, that's right. Awesome. Yes. No way. Right. Thanks, hot shots. <laughs> what color are aliens typically known to be? Easy. Red, B, green, C, yellow, B, e, blue. Right? It sounds like everyone agrees that it's B, green. Yeah, it is green. Obvious. <laughs> that question makes me laugh so much. It's like... <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> A blue alien? Eh. Eh, what the hell is that? Okay. Let's see. What kind of animal is seen at the yeah. end of all MTM television productions? Yeah. A chicken, B yeah. a squirrel, oh, 
be a cat, be a dog. Mm. But does anyone know what MTM Television Productions is? No. I don't even know. know. Frankie, do you know? Mm, no, I don't know specifically MTM. I'm trying to think of ones that I could remember. I said use a lifeline because I don't know what MTM even stands for. Yeah, that's a great thought. Yeah, me neither. Lifeline. Right. So yep, lifeline. Like, all right. So it looks like the majority is saying to use a lifeline. Do we want to call on a friend or call on a friend? Mm. Mm. Which option do we want to do? Well, Hot Shots is saying a cat. Isn't MGM? I know what you're talking about, the lion, but is that what they're talking about? I remember this. The baby cat, and it goes, wow. Oh. Oh, yep. Mm hmm. Do we want to say it's a cat or use the lifeline? The uh, lifeline. Yeah, lifeline. Double check. Okay. Do we want to yep. phone a friend or call on the audience? No, it's a cat. Oh, oh. <laughs> Hot wow. Chucks is really sure it's a cat. They're really sure it's a cat. No. If Hot Chucks is really excited. If Hot Chucks is going just going through with C then I'll go C. Well I think that last comment was from E S C and J, right? So it's hot shots yep. and e. yes, we're both we're in the same in. group. Yeah. We're just in two different rooms. I'll just uh, yeah they're all together. Uh, if hot shots and E C and J both say C all the way through, then I'll take their advice. Thank you, buddy. Yeah. Yep, me too. The rise. We're gonna go Otherwise, I'm going with my previous answer of my fine. I love when the team comes together. All right, let's take a look. A cat. Yeah, that's right. Awesome. Yay! Team, everyone! Yay! Bianca, your cat walked by the screen when we were picking cat. That was a sign. <laughs> that, that's my dog, but... <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. The dog knew it was a cat, though. Yeah, yeah. He gave you guys the hint. All right. The next question is Who's the Beetle Bailey comic strip about? A, a soldier. B, a super beetle. C, a policeman. A, sorry, D, a detective. I don't know this one. Mm, I me neither. Bailey, but I don't really know comic strips well. Mm, me neither. Do we have any comic fans? Yes, we have a participant here that is sure it's a soldier. He's oh, not. He has the comic. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. How sure is that person? Omar, how sure are you? Sure. He's sure. 100%? Hundred percent. Hundred you said yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. okay, if he's sure, then I'm yeah. going for it. I'm going for A if he's sure. All right, so we are tied in the pool between A and B. Do you guys want to use a lifeline because we're tied, or they're saying it's A, a soldier? Can you please put another poll up? Yeah. Wanna All right. Knowing we have someone who's feeling really sure about A, do you guys want to play hey. it? Uh, sure. I asked for another poll, uh, and then I went right line because now, because now I'm starting to think in the middle. It looks like the majority of the group is agreeing that it's A, a soldier. So let's, let's try it. I'm sure I'm going A, but okay. if not, then at least I have a safety. Okay. So I'm fine. Let's give it a try. Yeah, that was right. 
Awesome. Yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yes. Thanks to those comic experts. All right. Easy. <laughs> See how many points is Leo Cole worth in <laughs> football? A it's five. good. <laughs> Get it. D two, C seven, D three. So we need those football fans. Let's see. Oh, good. <laughs> now I am a football fan myself, okay. and I know. That a touchdown is six points. So if your goal is one up from that, so seven C is my answer. Even was even showing off his football shirt there. <laughs> this is just for the field goal, not together. Like just how many points the field goal is worth. Yeah, uh, but uh, mm -hmm. I should probably go. I have to go, but I'll see you guys next week. But okay. if a, but Join what I'm saying week. is, if a touchdown is six, the field goal is one up from six, so seven. Uh, nope, not exactly. What do we think? You guys are tied between C seven and D three. So what do we think? It's just uh, three. Four. Three. Can I have another poll? <laughs> do you guys want to do a live one since you're tied? This is the last one I think we're going to get to. So do you guys want to use one of those lifelines? Or is anyone like 100% sure that they want to convince the group? I'm also... <laughs> yeah, I'm 100% sure. Now, I right. asked for a poll Wait. to change my answer to A... Because now I'm starting to realize after what I said about the touchdown, the one up being seven, maybe it is one. Okay, Steven is saying he's a hundred percent sure that it's D three. What do you guys think? Will we want to go with that? No, I'm going to A. Yes. What? If it's not. If it's not C for all together. Then I'm going to A. What? Yeah. Well, that's where our votes are. All right, let's see. It says most of you are saying A. Mm -hmm. and oh, I know my I'm football. Right. Yep, I know it. Three. <laughs> well, sometimes we listen, sometimes we don't. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you everyone for joining us. Mm -hmm. That was fun. Definitely. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good effort, guys. I think we all learned some stuff. There were definitely yeah. a few questions in there I didn't know. Mm -hmm. So I hope you had a good time. Mm -hmm. And we will have uh, our fitness session with Matt tomorrow if you're joining us. And otherwise, hopefully, we'll see you next week. And also, I hope we mm -hmm. see you at the conference on Saturday if you're registered. Uh Awesome. I hope you all have a good day. You too. Bye. 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 Bye.